I'm Philip, and in this video, I'm going to introduce some concepts in environment management. No, this isn't about keeping your desk tidy. Instead, it's about helping your computer, and by extension you, know which software to use and when. We will be talking about this in the context of Python programming, but the concept will apply to R or other analysis languages that you choose to work with. One perk of such an approach is that it makes keeping track of data provenance a whole lot easier. This video has four key learning objectives. We want you to understand what a computational environment is. We want you to know how this concept relates to data management. We hope that you'll have an understanding of how and why modern software changes over time. And finally, we will introduce you to some approaches for managing packages within Python. Most modern software has an extensive range of dependencies. This is in general a good thing. It would be extremely inconvenient if every time we wanted to a normal distribution, we had to re-implement a random number generator. However, few things are without trade-offs, and this is no exception. The concept of an environment is a space where all packages have the same version or a consistent version. This helps us reproduce our results when we come back to work at a later date. To motivate this, consider an example. Perhaps you've experienced something similar before. You saved some data out of a program six months ago, and now you want to load it back in, but when you come to press the button, you get an error. Perhaps the format isn't recognized, or maybe something worse happens. This is generally due to incompatible software versions. Developers will strive to reduce how often this happens, but it won't be possible to please everyone. Fortunately, we can be proactive in addressing these issues, and this is where environment management comes in. The principles are in fact relatively simple. If you save the file with version 1.2.3 of the software, you will be able to open it with version 1.2.3. So all you need to do is make sure you are using that version of the software. Software versioning is a part of the data provenance lifecycle and would be recorded in line with the FAIR principles. When we consider this example, a useful analogy might be a floppy disk. In 2023, receiving a floppy disk is a very annoying way to be presented with some data. But if you own a PC with a floppy drive still, you can read a floppy disk. Going in depth on data formats is beyond the scope of this video. So for now, we will limit ourselves to talking about some common ways of interacting with data. Here, we'll be talking about Python, a programming language with an extensive software ecosystem. When you download Python, you get a certain version. And when you download a package to load a CSV, you get a certain version. You get the idea. The most popular way to manage all of these versions is through the software Conda. Conda allows you to create an environment with fixed versions of packages. So you could have an environment that loads important old dataset.file with version 2.0.0 of your loading package and a separate second environment that has up-to-date loading package is. I've provided a link to Conda's documentation in the video description. Thank you for watching this RDN Byte. In this video, I've introduced the concept of environment management. I've explained why this is important in our data-driven lines of research. A data file you can't open isn't much use after all. We then wrapped up the video by introducing Conda, a solution to some of these problems for Python users. You can find even more information, tips and tricks at the links in the description.